Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another one of my videos. You guys already know what time it is. It's pizza review time. This is the third episode I have done so far. Um, and this one is looking like a good one. Um, I can tell you by the look of the box and uh, just some things I was reading on it. It just looks really good. So, I mean, without further ado, I'll just go ahead and show you guys what we're doing today. And it's the Chicago's Home Run In Premium Pizza. Now, I have never heard of this pizza. I've never had this pizza before. Um, but looking at the picture, that actually looks really good. And uh, I've had Chicago style pizza before, and it's a pretty good style pizza. I mean, it says made from scratch, all natural. I know it's still frozen pizza, so maybe they, when they made it, it was all natural, but it's still frozen pizza, so it's not like super fresh. I guess they're going off Chicago home run because most of the baseball teams, um, which I appreciate because I used to play baseball a lot, so I'm a, I'm a big baseball fan. Uh, not a Chicago fan, though. Hey, no. Grew up a St. Louis Cardinal fan, um, and also rooted for the Pittsburgh Pirates. The thing about this one that's different from the other two that I've done um, is it cost $8. So Red Baron was around $3.50. Uh, the last one I did, Tombstone, was like $5.15. This is $8. So I'm expecting like a really good pizza. I'm expecting it like top notch. So it seems like this was like this was a pizza that was made in a pizza shop before or pizza maybe still maybe it's still a pizza place 1947. They can go check out but maybe they just made it to where now instead of having to go to Chicago to go to their inn you could buy it at your local store and eat it. That's pretty cool. Today Home Run Inn continues to be a family owned and operated business. Yep. And now they pass it on I hope our pizza provides as many great memories as you have for them. Well, I mean, heck, I love pizza, and I'll be I'll be the judge of this one, but $8 is a lot, but if it's really good pizza, you might have a new customer. Well, before we get into that, I just want to see how you guys are doing. Um, like always, leave me a comment down in the comment section um, of how your day is going, if you want to ask me any questions, like I said, any other places that you want me to, to review or go to and try out. Um, I love going to new places, trying out new pizza, um, and doing things of that nature. Like I said, as promised, I'm going to start doing some other content, um, which I will let you guys know that as soon, as soon as I get it sorted out and start getting the ball rolling on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, today's a beautiful day um, in Miami. I mean, it's been a pretty grim the, the past two days, but today's sunny and I'm going to get outside and do some run, do some exercises after I eat, of course, 400 calories of pizza. So. Got to do some kind of workout. Um, also, kind of, this is the only kind of like baseball gear I have, so I kind of line this up for this pizza. So. Yeah, but other than that, you know, I'm excited. So let's go ahead and get into a taste test. All right, guys, I'm excited for this one. <clears throat> We're about to get into the uh, taste test and the pizza review of Home Run in Pizza. You know, I cooked it up. It looks a little different from the, the actual picture because I cooked it like a minute or two more. But it still looks like a pretty good pizza. Um, the crust is quite puffy, and I don't know. This looks like it's going to be pretty good. And I'll tell you guys what. After I cooked it, I took it off. Different from other frozen pizzas, it had like this fresh aroma coming off of it. Like it smelled nice, it smelled like a real pizza. Like I literally just went to the store, picked it up, walked outside, and it smelled amazing. So I hope it tastes as good as it smells because it smelled really good. So all right, let's get into it. Let's get into the taste test. Oh wow, that was a good pizza. The sauce is on point, the cheese is on point, the bread's on point. Pull me some pepperoni. I think this is worth $8. All right, so, so far, that is sending my taste buds into a spin. That tastes like a real pizza. Like, I know, I think this place in the box they said it has a real shop in Chicago. And I always like Chicago style pizza. And wow, that is, whew, that, I'm not even gonna count that as a frozen pizza. That was actually, ooh, that was really good. That beats my favorite frozen pizza. Uh, it's frozen pizza and I don't, I'm not really counting it, but it's yeah, better than right there. Even though it's five dollars more, but uh, it, yeah, it tastes like it's five dollars more. Mm. Can't get enough of it. Okay, let me get into the review now. Okay, so. Since we don't have no toppings, can't go off of that. Man, that cheese, 
I could do like a minute or two more, but Jesus is good. Man, the sauce, the sauce that, that put it over the top. That just tastes when it hit your mouth. The aroma, and then when it immediately hits your, your tongue and your taste buds. The bread's even good. Man. This one has been my favorite one so far. Man, I'm even going to go as far as rating it on an 8. I'll give it an 8. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to rate the home run in pizza an 8. That passed, that passed my taste test. That was actually a really good slice of pie. I knew I was excited more for this one. This one was actually like, I was excited for it. It looked good on the box. The presentation, uh, man, and the way it smelled, the way it tasted, it was just A plus across the board. Um, still, not, not like a 9 or a 10 level, but 8 is, wow, that's actually really good. So, um, it's hard to to hit my taste buds like that and rate pizza high. Ooh, that was a good one. So, if you guys have never had home running pizza, definitely, definitely get it, try it out. Let me know what you guys think about it. Because by far that's been my favorite one so far. All right, well I have nothing else. I have nothing else to add to this, guys. Um, this has been a really fun one, um, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Like always, yeah.